Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March 10th through the 20th, 2019 reading for you. Now, I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way that you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out, and you help my small channel grow into something big and into something beautiful. So, I want to thank each and every one of you for your support. Whether you are new or old to this channel, you guys mean absolutely the world to me. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant from March 1st to the March 1st, March 10th to the 20th, 2019. Look at this. Has in store for you. Libra, March 10th through the 20th, 2019. 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 Libra. March 10th through the 20th, 2019. Libra. March 10th through the 20th, 2019. Libra. March 10th through the 20th, 2019. March 10th through the 20th, 2019. Libra. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. March 10th through the 20th, 2019. Libra. March 10th through the 20th, 2019. Libra. March 10th through the 20th, goodness. 2019. Libra, March 10th through the 20th, 2019. Libra, show me today. Okay, fantastic. So that's where the cards fell. That's where Spirit wanted me to stop. Oh, we have here, here, healing beautiful love from the 10th to the 20th. There is some aspect of love coming into your life. Now, for those of you who aren't interested in a romantic relationship, this is self-love. This is knowing what it is that you desire, knowing where it is that you're headed, having this beautiful balance of masculine and feminine energy come in, and really moving forward in the love that you want. For those of you who are looking for a romantic relationship, this can very well be you meeting a soulmate, you meeting just somebody who you connect with and who helps heal you in some way. And I'm not one, I am definitely not one for a person who comes in and you know can just swipe in like a white knight and makes everything better and makes you feel complete. That's not how I believe in love. But this is somebody whose soul resonates with your soul and helps build you up to where it is that you want to be. I love it. You are a air sign. You are represented by the swords. In the minor arcana, you're coming through as the queen of swords. You know your mind. You know what it is that you want. This is also a warning against being sharp-tongued with people. This can also show a Gemini or an Aquarius. Love between you, maybe even another Libra. A Gemini and Aquarius could very well be the case here. Yes, definitely. You're sandwiched by love celebration of home, family, things are really looking good. You're taking a leap of faith here and you're walking away from a negative mind space. I mean, that's fantastic. All right, I see the tower. I know you guys are going to sit there and be like, no, 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 this isn't what I want, but you have the tower, I, I knew it. You have the tower with the sun. And things have fallen apart and things have had to fall apart so you could get what it is that you want so that you can move forward in the love, the joy, the happiness that you desire. So, so a Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. Let me just move these down a little bit so you can see better. But you are moving forward towards what it is that you want, towards what it is that you desire, towards what it is that you need. And nothing is going to stand in your way. This is also a healing going on during these 10 days. There's actually a really powerful healing here. And I'm going to start with your clarifying cards because that's what the cards are telling me to do. We're starting with the tower. Well, actually, let me go through one by one like I usually do. And then we'll We'll see what happens from there, but I'm going to start. Well, yeah, okay. So there's healing that's coming through. It's a fragile healing. So what the cards are telling me to tell you is to be kind to yourself during this time. Be kind to yourself as you're embracing what it is that you want. There's a strong air sign energy to you here, which is your sign, but there's also a Gemini and Aquarius or another Libra who could even be coming into the mix here. And you are really connecting with them in a very real way, cutting through doubts and fears, embracing love. This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing you a gift of healing, beautiful love. It's going to bring on tears, okay? So if you feel overly emotional during this time, that's fine. That's fine, let yourself feel emotionally what it is that you want or what it is that you need. If, you come, if you're coming from, a, okay, how do I word this? If the pain is coming from a place of lack, let yourself feel that lack. If, you're, if your pain is coming from a place of being overwhelmed, feel 
that feeling of being overwhelmed. Do not sit there and think that you have to kind of push these emotions down so that everything can be okay and you can smile and you can be the happy, you know, balanced Libra that you are, making everybody happy and balanced. No. Feel the pain that you are going through because once you feel it, there's a healing that's coming. This is a celebration of home, celebration of family. This could be moving. This could be getting a new job. This is this is a moving forward because you're taking that leap of faith. You're embracing the fool card. You're going for it. You're also not acting foolish. There's going to be something that is happening during these 10 days and you think, oh my gosh, I'm acting a fool. You're not acting a fool. No, you're not. You're taking all your knowledge, all your understanding, and you're moving on. But you're also leaving behind a negative mind space. You're also leaving behind a pain that's too deep. It all starts with this tower card. Because you have been going through a tower time. A tower time for the count of 13, 13 days. I'm sorry, 16, 16 days, 16 weeks, 16 months, 16 years. It's a tower time. Okay? Definitely. That's what I'm seeing here. But it's been a long time. And it doesn't have to be that you were in kind of like a hurricane for all that time. There were there were moments of goodness that came through. But there, you're just tired. You are tired, Libra. And then you have the sun card. This is a beautiful just juxtaposition. That's the word I'm looking for. A beautiful kind of pairing here. Because you have everything falling apart. And then you have yourself moving forward in happiness, joy, and understanding. It's almost as if you had to lose it all to gain it all. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dane, I didn't need to lose anything. Thank you very much. Okay? This has been hell. Yes, it has. And I'm not diminishing that and I'm not denying it. But what is that song? When you're going through hell, keep on going. That's what you've done. Now you're embracing. Now it's time to embrace your time. There's also a sense of solitude and beauty here. So really, I see this mostly when you obtain this healing. There's a time during these 10 days that you need to step back. Okay, you need to step back. It's going to be the seventh day or the fifth day for a lot of you. It's between there. So five, five to seven. And it could be from the fifth to the seventh that this really starts to, to come and be a part of you. But it's almost as if now that everything has fallen apart. You're revealing stronger and better than ever before. And I love that all your clarifying cards are major arcana cards. I mean, that's huge. These are divine cards. These are divine messages. Yes, everything has fallen apart. Now you're moving forward. In passion and purity of intention. But also, white is also a color of mourning. Mourn what you have lost. The pain, the sorrow, the disappointment. How could this have happened? Mourn it. Let it out. Because that's also going to be how you move forward. By letting out the pain. Not keeping it bottled up. Because we have the Hierophant here. Now in the Rider Waite Smith deck, this card is depicted by a Pope sitting on his throne, okay, with two monks at his feet. He has the kingdom of heaven, not the kingdom, well, the keys to the kingdom of heaven also at his feet. So this is your traditions. This is staying true to yourself. This is knowing that you are obtaining so much more than what you are seeing right now. But because I used the Llewellyn Tarot deck, the Pope becomes Taliesin, the greatest of Celtic bards, of Celtic heroes. Well, one of the greatest, you could argue, whomever you like. But... This is saying here that your destiny has been unexpected. And I know you're going to sit there and say, how? Well, the story of Taliesin is that he was a slave boy, a, a serving boy. No, he was a slave. He had to do exactly what was told of him, and he had no chance of a future. None whatsoever. The witch carried when she owned him, and she told him to stir this pot. And she had put all the greatest things in it. Now, remember, this is ancient Wales, guys. Okay? So... Times were really, really harsh. She put all the greatest things in it, and she had him stir the pot and stir the pot. And it had to be stirred for like three days. And this was a little boy. So he's stirring the pot, stirring the pot. A bit of it bubbles up, hits his finger. He puts his finger in his mouth because it's burnt, right? And he finds out 
that as he puts his finger in his mouth, that he has now gotten all the magic potion, all the magic that was intended for Kirwin's son. Because her son, she thought him a simpleton. She thought he didn't have a future. She was like, okay, I'm going to fix that. She was a great witch. And so she made this potion. Kerudwin know, knew immediately she hunted down Talison. Everything he turned into, she turned into the predator of. Finally, he turned into a kernel of corn. She turned into a hen. She ate him. She wound up becoming pregnant because this is an ancient Welsh story and this is how things happen. She wound up becoming pregnant with him and she wound up giving birth to a son with all the greatest gifts that she had wanted. It's things coming about, not in the way that you had intended, but in the way that is absolutely beautiful. Right now, you see this little beetle right here? It makes me think of a dung beetle from ancient Egypt and how the dung beetle was worshipped, not really worshipped, but revered because it would take a little bit of dung and it would roll it and roll it and roll it into other dung, okay, until it made a big ball and then it would abandon it. And the ancient Egyptians saw that as the progression of the sun. And they thought, wow, this little beetle makes the sun each and every day. Right now, at times, you feel like you're rolling dung, okay? Be honest with yourself, be truthful about it, sit there and say, my gosh, when is it going to be my time? Pay attention to the words you tell yourself, pay attention to what it is that you desire, okay? Because you are getting all the best things. So focus on that, not on how everything is falling apart. Also a strong Taurus energy here around you. Strong air sign energy, strong Taurus energy. This is love. This is healing, beautiful love coming your way. Healing you, moving you forward, blessing you. There's also fragility to it, but you're being healed. And it's actually a fragile healing. I think at times you have felt like, not I think, a lot of times you have felt like blown glass almost, or a cloisonne egg, or something astoundingly fragile. And now you're healing from that fragility. For some of you, you're falling in love. For some of you, it's going to be with an air sign. For others of you, it's going to be with a Taurus. Okay? Or somebody who has a fantastic mind, that's what attracts you to them, and somebody who's very, very grounded has a good kind of business sense, head on their shoulder, you are embracing this healing love. You are moving forward in this healing love. And you are seeing new beginnings happen because either you fall in love or you're falling in love with yourself. Now, it could be both. You know, don't, don't lessen your blessings, right? This healing is coming and it's going to open up doors for you because it's going to take you from a place of the tower time, a place of negativity, to a place of positivity, to a place where you think, wow, I can achieve it. I can succeed. I can move forward. I know what it is that I want. Even if you don't know what it is that you want exactly, you can sit there and say, Dane, I, I'm not really sure. I'm confused. I'm thinking of this. I'm thinking of that. This is saying here that you are embracing where it is that you want to be. You're following your soul and that's leading you to a place of celebration, but it's also leading you to a place of change, new house, new job new opportunities. It doesn't have to be that you, you know, change your job or, you know, and definitely do not change your job before you have a new job. Okay, guys, this is not saying to run out, quit your, quit your job and know that everything's just going to turn out hunky-dory. Okay, this is saying to be cautious. This is saying to be wise, but also to embrace these blessings that are coming. Right? And do so with prosperity of self. Right? This is a celebration of family. This is a celebration of soul. And this is you embracing what it is that you want. Now you have a queenly energy to you, which I love. The queen of swords is the only queen. Well, you can also say that with the king of swords, but she's the only king queen that holds a weapon in her hand. You can say this, the wands are a weapon, but here the swords, that's a true weapon. It can cut that wand in half. Beware of having a sharp tongue during these 10 days. You're setting yourself free. You're embracing what it is that you want. You have here chainmail over your head. She's the only queen with armor on. Guard your thoughts. Okay? Not everybody's going to be wishing you well, especially when you're going through this transformation, especially when your tower time has ended to embrace the sun. You need freedom. You need independence. That is something about you, Libra, that people don't really understand. You need that air sign freedom. 
but you need that balance, right? And that's what you're getting here with the Two of Cups, balance and freedom and healing. You're taking a leap of faith. Some of you are taking a leap of faith in love. Some of you are taking a leap of faith in loving yourself, you know, of saying, yes, I am worthy of being loved by me. I have that right. Others of you are taking a leap of faith on an idea. Do so. You're going after what it is that you desire. New beginnings, new jobs, new opportunities, celebration of home, of family, of those you value as much as family. You're taking a leap of faith on it. You have here the angels fiercely guarding you. You have here blessings coming your way. You're using your passion to guide you forward. The Ace of Cups, healing, beautiful love. Also saying there will be tears. There will be sorrow. Okay, because your cup is going to overflow. And I think of this also as tears running down the cheeks. You don't have to cry if you don't want to. But letting out the pain that you have felt from this tower time is going to be very beneficial. And letting it go. Okay, because the blessings are coming. The blessings are coming. And we have here the Two of Cups. We have you taking them. You're being handed the blessings and you're taking them. You're not walking away from them. You're not leaving them behind. You're taking this healing, beautiful love and you're using it to heal yourself, to heal your soul, to move you forward in the love, the prosperity, and the abundance that you want. The Seven of Swords. You are walking away. You're walking away from something that no longer fits. You're walking away from a mindset, okay, that isn't right for you anymore. It just isn't. Now, as you walk away, your back is bowed, okay? It's hard. It's hard to leave behind this negativity. It's hard to leave behind this place where you had once been comfortable, this mindset you had once been comfortable with, but no more. It's time to go, and you know that it's an ending time. The angels are helping you carrying something that's too heavy, a knowledge, an understanding that's too heavy for you to bear right now, but you're also leaving something behind, a pain, a sorrow, a hurt that you just can't take with you because it's too much. It has always been too much for your shoulders and now it's time to leave it. You are taking a leap of faith as you walk away from what no longer fits you anymore, Libra. Because you are walking away, changes are coming in. As changes come, as celebrations come, you become more you. As you get this gift of healing, and as you embrace this healing love to move you forward to where it is that you want to be, where it is that you want to be, what it is that you want to desire, what it is that you do desire. You have spent so long in this tower time and this tower time doesn't have to be that anything bad happened. You could have everybody looking at you and thinking that you're walking on water. But this tower time is also saying here that within your soul, within yourself, there has been chaos. And now you're leaving that behind. For others of you, this tower time is going to be much more, you know, intense. People will have seen it. But now you're walking away from it. The waters become calm. Okay, the healing love rises you above. I love that you have the night and the day here. Everything falls apart and it's rebuilt stronger and better than ever before. Have faith within yourself. And I know I say this, this um, quote from Picasso all the time, but with this card, with the Hierophant, I always think of the quote of Picasso who said, you know, my mother told me if I were to be a priest, I would become Pope. If I were be, to be a soldier, I'd become a general. I became an artist and I became Picasso. There's greatness ahead of you. Now, does it mean that you're going to be Picasso famous? Most likely not. I mean, that's rare in and of itself. But to have that faith within yourself to move you forward, that's what you're embracing here. And to stop feeling as if you're rolling dung. You're tired of it. You're done with it. The Four of Pentacles. Moving home, protecting home. Selling a home, moving into a new home, 
that could very well be the case for a lot of you Libras, but embracing celebration of home and self, and then protecting your solar plexus, protecting your chakras. At times you might feel as if you have headaches, stomach aches, your feet might hurt. You know, kind of step back a little bit. Step back a little bit and know that everything is okay. Don't hold on so tightly. But you are protecting your home, you're protecting your prosperity, and you're moving forward in the wealth and the abundance that you want. All right, Libra Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, I hope this reading has resonated with you. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'll be reading for you really soon. Bye.